Wonderful. All right. I am just so happy you guys are here, whether it's on Facebook or on Zoom. Um, today we're going to do an abbreviated 60 minute 26 and 2 class. The style of yoga is traditionally done in a hot room. And if you, like me, do not have access to an 105 degree room right now, that's okay. We're going to do a warm up before we start the pranayama breathing and the 26 um, postures that we do every time. So today for a warm up, we're actually going to do sun salutations, which you might be familiar with from other styles of yoga like vinyasa. And the idea is we're saluting the sun in the um, longest days of the year. We'll do five rounds. If you are um, new to sun salutations, um, I'll go over a bunch of different ways to do them safely. If you are very familiar with sun salutations, you're welcome to do uh, whatever version of that works for you. And with the sun salutes and also with the yoga in general, if something doesn't feel right, if it's hurting, um, remember that you can modify. You can do something else or you can skip it entirely. This yoga should be fun at points, challenging, but never painful. So you'll start with the sun salutations coming to the top of your mat. And I'm actually going to show you from a profile view for the first couple of rounds. Take a moment with your arms down by your sides. Bring your weight into your toes. And then rock your weight back into your heels. All right, and we'll begin. Inhale, lift your arms up, palms together, look up towards the ceiling as if you were waving hello to the sun, saluting the sun. As you exhale, fold forward, suck your stomach in, bend your knees, go down, arms with your ears, put your hands on the floor, drop your head. Inhale, halfway lift with the weight in your toes and a flat back. You can have your hands on your thighs, your shins, or if you're flexible, hands on the floor. As you exhale, place your hands on the floor between your, on, on either sides of your feet, bend your knees, and step back into a high plank. If high plank does not work for you today, know that you can also come down onto your knees in tabletop. From here, we're going to do what's called a chaturanga. It's a little bit like a push-up, but rather than elbows at a 45-degree angle, you want the elbows hugged into the side. So bend your elbows back and slowly lower down. As you inhale, come up halfway for baby cobra. If you've done 26 and 2 Vikram yoga before, this should be pretty familiar. It's a back bend. And as you exhale, tuck your toes under and lift your hips up for down dog. Uh, if down dog does not work for you, the other option is to go from baby cobra into child's pose. So for here, you can either do child's pose with your hips back and your arms forward, or you can do down dog. For down dog, bend one knee, straighten the other. Spread your fingers wide. Open your shoulders. Um, heels might be off the floor. You can always take your feet slightly wider. Eventually, heels pressing down. Okay, great. Look between your hands. Inhale, walk your, hand, your feet between your hands. Exhale, drop your head. Inhale, root your eyes. Come up, arms with your ears. Looking up, saluting the sun again. Exhale, arms down. Good. Second set, we'll do it a little faster. Inhale, look up, salute the sun, high sun. Exhale, fold forward, arms with your ears go down, put your hands on the floor, drop your head. Inhale, come up halfway, lift, flat back, weight in the toes, chin away from the chest. Exhale, put your hands on the floor, walk back into high plank or into tabletop. Keep exhaling, bend the elbows in, lower down. Inhale, come up, you can do baby cobra or up dog. For up dog, thighs should be off the floor, arms straight. If your arms are straight and your thighs are on the floor still, keep the elbows bent. Only if you can keep the thighs lifted, up dog. Exhale, tuck your toes under either down dog or baby cobra holding here, sorry, either down dog or child's pose. Holding here for three breaths, spread your fingertips wide, root down through all 28 knuckles. Roll the shoulders back and down. You can bend one knee, straighten the other. Gentle constriction to the throat, ujjayi breathing, warming up the body. Good. Look between your hands, and as you inhale, walk your feet forward. Exhale, drop your head. Inhale, root your eyes, come up, arms with your ears. Exhale, arms down. Third step, I'll give you some different options. Hands at heart space. Inhale, looking up, high sun. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, this time you can step or float back. If you are hopping back, you want to end with your elbows bent in chaturanga. So elbows bent, keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale, come up to baby cobra or up dog. Exhale, tuck your toes under, down dog or child's pose. Pull your belly in, spread the shoulders apart. That part's really hard for me. Root down through the space between your knuckles and your thumbs. 
Good, look between your hands. You can step or lift your heels and hop forward, hands between the feet. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up, arms through your ears, look up. Exhale, arms down. Good, two more rounds. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, you can stop, step or float back, chaturanga. Inhale, come up, baby cobra, up dog. Exhale, tuck your toes under the mat or half tortoise for a uh, child's pose. Words are so hard. Bend one knee, straighten the other, spread your shoulders wide. Three breaths. Good. Look between your hands, you can step or float forward, hands between your feet. Exhale, drop your head. Inhale, come up, arms through your ears, looking up. Exhale, here we go. Good. Last one. And if you're not muted, you should consider muting yourself. Last one. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, stomach in, fold forward, put your hands on the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, put your hands on the floor, step or hop back, high plank. Keep exhaling, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, come up. Exhale, tuck your toes under, down dog, holding here for three breaths. Good. Look between your hands, step or float forward, hands between the feet. Exhale, drop your head. Inhale, reach rise, arms of your ears, come up, look up. Exhale, arms down. Wonderful. From here, we'll continue with the traditional 26 and 2 yoga, starting with pranayama deep breathing, good for your lungs and respiratory system. So bring your feet together, toes, heels touch, interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, glue your knuckles underneath your chin. Rock your weight into your heels. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. You made it to class. Concentrate, meditate, and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose. Lift your elbows up. Suck your stomach in. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up. Exhale through your mouth. AJ, sound head back. Arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, chin down slowly. Bring your chin down. Look straight ahead. Lift your elbows up. Keep your spine straight from the side. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back, look way, way, way back, arms forward, elbows touching away from your body. Good. Inhale, chin down, breathe in through your nose, down through your throat to the very bottom of your lungs. Exhale, head up. As you exhale, open your mouth wide, make an HA, sound, stretch your arms forward, elbows touch away from your chest. Inhale, head down every new inhale. You want to take in more air than the last breath to expand your lung capacity. Exhale, head up. The more you exhale here, the more fresh oxygen you can take in on your next breath. Push the air out. Inhale, head down. So make this the deepest breath so far, breathing into the top of the lungs, middle of the lungs, bottom of the lungs, full lungs. Exhale, head up. In our day-to-day -day life, we don't really use the full lung capacity, but the lungs need to be worked out just like any other part of the body. Inhale, head down. Let's make this the last breath in the first set. Spine a little longer, elbows a little higher, lungs a little fuller. Suck your stomach in, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Take your time. Eyes open, hips forward, legs locked, stomach in, keep exhaling, push, squeeze, elbows touch, change, arms down, can roll out your shoulders, your head. Second set might be a little bit more familiar, maybe you can breathe deeper. Feet together, interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, glue your knuckles underneath your chin, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, grow taller out of the base of your spine, and begin inhale, chin down and arms up, breathe in through your nose, against the back of your throat, create a little bit of a vibration, snoring sensation. Exhale, head up, use your throat muscles, see so you sound a little bit like Darth Vader, but not so much Baby Yoda. Oh, inhale, head down for one, two, three, sorry, making myself laugh, four, five, six, full lungs. Exhale, head up, six, five, four, three, two, elbows touch, one. Inhale, head down, use the full six seconds to inhale. Slowly bring your chin down, look straight ahead. Exhale, head up, synchronize your breath with your body movements, head back, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, keep the weight in your heels, lock your legs, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your glutes, contract even your hip muscles. Exhale, head up, weight in the heels, hips a little forward, just your head drops back, no backward bending, elbows touch. 
Inhale, head down as you inhale. Open your rib cage wide. Expand your rib cage, expand your lung capacity. Exhale, head up. Even as you exhale, pull your belly in, suck your stomach in, eyes open, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Let's make this the last breath in the seconds, that deepest breath of your life when your lungs are totally full. Surprise yourself, take in one more sip of air. Exhale, head up, take your time. Let everything go through the exhale breath. Any worries, any cares, let them go. Be here now, elbows touch, change. Arms down, you can roll out your shoulders, your head. We'll continue with Ardha Chandrasana with Padasana. Together, inhale your arms over your head sideways, palms Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs. Okay, everybody's muted, stretch up out of your waist and bend right and left. Right and left. Every time you pass through the middle, reach up a little bit taller. So you really want to squeeze your palms together. And when you can't stretch anymore, come to stop in the middle for half moon pose. Bring the weight into your heels. Push your hips a little forward, lean the upper body back, squeeze your palms together. Inhale, breathing, stretch up, out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, breathing, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows and knees, continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Just remember it's the first posture of the day and there's no rush. Know where you have to be. Nothing you have to prove to yourself or to anyone else. All you have to do is breathe in and out through your nose. Let your breath be your guide. As you inhale, lengthen your arms. As you exhale, come down, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up, stop in the middle. Hips forward, arms back, stretch up nice and tall, and slowly, carefully bend your body to the left as you push your hips to the right. No bend in the elbows, no bend in the knees. Just one long arc of the body as you breathe in and out through the nose. One housekeeping item, I'm not mirroring you, so it might look like I'm bending my upper body to the right, when in fact I'm bending my upper body to the left. Um, you are welcome to follow my words or follow my body. As a general rule of thumb, we will do the right side of the postures first. Push your right hip forward to get your two hips in line. Bring your left shoulder forward. Open your chest. Come down. Push, push, push. Change. Inhale to come up. First back bend. Take a deep breath. Full lungs. Keep your eyes open and relax your head all the way back. Look for the floor behind you and then bring your arms back with your ears like you're trying to touch the wall behind you. Full spine backward bending from coccyx to the neck, lower back, middle back, and upper back. Bend your total spine backward bending. Try to fall down backwards. Maximum weight in your heels looks good. Inhale, breathing, push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward, and bring your arms back. Look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, change. Wonderful. Inhale to come up, stretch up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold forward. Put your hands on the floor, drop your head. This should feel familiar, and then go for a walk. Move your hips, shake your head. This is a U-turn from back bending to forward folding. At the beginning of class, your spine might not be quite warmed up yet. Move your hips to get your lower back nice, relaxed, comfortable, easy, flexible. Hands to feet pose, padasasana. Bend your knees, and at first, grab the backs of your legs, your calves. If this is easy, grab your heels from underneath. Step on all 10 fingers. Bend your elbows back. Touch stomach to thighs. Chest to knees, face on the shins, no room for light and air between the upper and lower body. Pull on your heels. Roll your weight forward into your toes. Push your big toes down. Lift your hips up. Stretch your spine. Good. Change. Come up. Knees can bend. Try to keep your arms with your ears just the way you went in. Nice. Arms down, and you stand a little taller. Second set, feet together. Inhale your arms over your head sideways, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, hips forward, arms back, stretch up tall, and slowly drop to the right as you push your hips to the left. Use your right hand to pull your left hand to the top right corner of the room. Push your heels into the floor and push your hips a little bit further to the left. So if the weight's coming into your toes, bring the weight back into your heels. If you're sticking your butt out and folding forward, push your hips forward, upper body back. Keep your spine nice and long. So left hip forward, two hips in line. Right shoulder forward, two shoulders in line. Come down, push, push, push. 
change. Inhale to come up, reset. Hips forward, touch your biceps to your ears, squeeze palms together, stretch up, and slowly drop to the left as you push your hips to the right. You're going more for form and sensation than depth. Uh, sometimes going a millimeter into a posture feels like a whole bunch, and that's great. We're working through tension, not around tension, not just in our body, but like in our general lives as well, right? We're working through stuff rather than ignoring it. We're trying to skip it. Uh, keep the weight in your heels, chin away from your chest, breathe through your nose. Hips a little more forward, upper body back, stomach in. Push your right hip forward, two hips in line. The left shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down, push and push and push. Change, inhale to come up, second heart opener. It's a little hard for me to talk and do it once. Take a deep breath, squeeze your butt, pull lungs, keep your eyes open, drop your head back, and then start to trace your fingers along the ceiling, down the back wall. So whole spine backward bending, whole front of the body stretching, maximum weight in your heels. Inhale, breathing, push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward and bring your arms back. Look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, change, inhale to come up, stretch up. Exhale, bend your knees, go down. Put your hands on the floor, relax your head, and go for another walk, move your hips, shake your head. So if you're looking at your pedicure or lack of pedicure, drop your head, look towards your shins or the wall behind you instead. No tension in the next spine. Second set, hands to feet pose, bend your knees, grab your heels from underneath, step on all 10 fingers, bend your elbows back, stomach to thighs, chest and knees, face on the shins, pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes and lift your hips up, stretch your upper body down. Eventually your legs will lock, does not have to be today or tomorrow. It is much more important to touch your upper body to your lower body and then slide the spine down. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, lift your hips up, and for my flexi folks, maybe lock your legs. Good, change, come up, knees can bend. Try to keep your arms with your ears like an extension of your spine. Nice, change, arms down, high five. Awkward, Utkatasana, right away. Step your right foot to the right, six inches, hip width distance, insides your feet parallel, arms up, parallel to the floor, tricep muscles tight. Suck your stomach in, bend your knees, sit back and down, like you're sitting back and down into a chair. Feet flat position, spine straight to begin with, 100% of your body weight in your heels. Sit down halfway only, hips into a chair. Suck your stomach in, arch your upper body back. Lift your chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, way back, try to fall down backwards at the end. Change, inhale to come up, keep your arms there. Push your hips a little forward. Now come up all the way in your tippy tippy toes, starting to play with balance. Lift your heels, bend your knees, lean back, and sit down. So active fingertips here. Push your fingers forward, relax your shoulders down, heels up, knees up, spine straight, sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change, inhale to come up. Last part, heels down for a second. Squeeze your knees, inner thighs together. Let your heels come a little bit off the floor and slowly sit down as if you're sliding your back down a wet marble wall. Take your time, listen to your body, stop whenever you want or when you're a half inch off your heels. Relax your shoulders, lift your chin, change. Slowly come up, knees together, thighs together, heels down, right foot back, arms down. Second set, step your right foot to the right hip with distance. I'll show you from the side. Insides of your feet parallel. Bring your arms up. Three, two, one. Bend your knees, sit back and up. I've been watching too much of The Office because whenever I say, I'll show you from the side, for some reason in my mind, I think that's what she said. Suck your stomach in, bring your upper body back, roll your shoulders back and down. Uh, if that joke doesn't make sense to you, never mind. Bring the weight back into your heels. Still listen, mom. Suck your stomach in. Lift your chin up, chest up. Change. Inhale to come up. Keep your arms there. Push your hips a little forward. Now come up maximum on your tiptoes. Stretch up first. Bend your knees. Lean back and sit down. Second part's a little bit harder. You want to tuck your tailbone under. So if you have a tail, you would tuck it under, right? Keep the back flat. Heels up. Knees up. Change. Inhale to come up. Last part. Heels down. Squeeze your knees together, let your heels come off the floor, and slowly sit down. Imagine you have a ticket to Beyonce in between your knees. Don't drop the ticket, so if your knees are coming apart, stop there. Otherwise, stop when you're half inch off your heels. So lift up a little bit, squeeze your knees together and forward, change, slowly come up. Good, heels down, right foot back, arms down. Eagle pose, Garasana, we'll do the right side first. Inhale your arms over your head. Exhale, swing your right arm under your left arm, right under left. Couple options, you can grab your shoulders, 
You can interlock your fingers or have hands in prayer, thumbs towards your nose, pinkies away from your face. Okay, bend your knees, sit down, just like the last posture, into a chair, stay down there, and bring your right leg over your left leg. So this yoga is really smart. At first the foot's hanging out, eventually you hook your foot. So um, every posture builds on the next one, right? So in the awkward chair series, we started to play around with balance. Now we're really playing around with balance, right? And in the awkward chair series, we sat our hips down into a chair, so it would be easier to sit down more here. Arch your upper body back at the end. Good, change. Feet together, inhale your arms over your head. Exhale, left arm under your right arm, left under right, palms together, thumbs towards your face. Pull your elbows down, decompressing the neck, shoulders. That'll be useful in the next posture. Bend your knees, sit down. Lean back and bring your left leg over your right leg. Um, at first, the foot's hanging out. Eventually, you're gonna wrap your foot. Doesn't have to be today, doesn't have to be tomorrow. Just know that's where it's going. Bring your knees to the left, upper body to the right. Sit down more, arch your upper body back at the end. Nice, change. Feet together, inhale your arms over your head, second set. Exhale, right arm, under left arm, right under left, palms together, thumbs towards your nose. Pull elbows down, bend your knees, sit down, lean back and bring your right leg over your left leg, cross twist, eventually the foot hooks. So there's all different styles of yoga, and in a lot of versions of yoga in eagle pose, you would lift the fingertips up, but in this one, you're trying to pull it down. You're literally trying to open the shoulder blade scapula, so that standing head to knee pose next will be a little bit easier. Pull your elbows down, sit down more, arch your upper body back. Good, change, feet together, inhale your arms over your head. Last one, exhale, left arm under the right arm, Palms together, pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down, lean back, and bring your left leg over your right leg. So this style of yoga does some poses a little different from other styles of yoga. And it can be easy to be like, well, this isn't how I did triangle pose and flow class last week. And that's okay, because this is like a specific sequence where each posture builds for the next one, even if it looks a little bit different from other styles of yoga, that's okay. Knees to the left, upper body to the right, arch your upper body back at the end. Good, change, feet together, inhale your arms over your head, exhale, arms down, party time, grab a sip of water if you want. Cheers, cheers. Does that make sense? So sometimes when I see people who like have a background in yoga but they're new to this style of yoga, in eagle pose, they're like lifting the fingertips all the way up, but this, makes this way easier, yeah? So every posture builds on the next one. Standing head to knee, Dhanda Yamana Janya Shrasana, speaking up. Shift your weight to your left leg, the devil is in the details. Lock your left leg and lift your right leg up. Flex your toes back, suck your stomach in. Round down, and as you're able, pick up your right foot. All 10 fingers that are locked up to the webbing. Nice tight grip, don't lose the grip. Hi Georgie, <laughs> if you've been coming for a while and you know your left leg is locked, no bend, no hobble. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently lift your right leg up. Stretch it forward until your right leg is exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower standing leg locked. If both legs lock, from the side legs make an upside down L, like Linda, bend your elbows down, touch your elbows to your calf muscles. One day, elbows go below the calf muscles. Lock your leg, lock your leg, lock your leg. Change, slowly reverse out. Shift your weight to your right leg, I'll show you from the side, Lock your right leg and lift your left leg up. Left side, flex your toes back, suck your stomach in, round down, and pick up your left foot. All 10 fingers in our lock. Nice tight grip, don't lose the grip. Standing legs should be solid, concrete, one piece, lamp post, unbroken, you have no knee, only then lift your left leg up. If your standing leg is bending, posture hasn't started. Really kick, flex your toes back, breathe. If both legs lock, then start to bend elbows in and down. Touch elbows to calf muscles. Keep lowering the chest one day. Elbows go below the calf muscles. Everybody heel forward, toes back. Change, slowly reverse out. You can put your hands on your back. Do a little back bend or knee bend. Woo, shift your right to your left leg. Lock your left leg right away, second set. Lift your right leg up, toes back, stomach in, round down. Whoop, if you're able. And maybe pick up your right foot, maybe not. Okay, concentrate, meditate, don't forget to have fun. When you're ready, lift your right leg up, 
heel forward, toes back, stomach in. If you fall out, hop back in. I see you. If both legs lock, bend your elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles and you can balance comfortably, slowly tuck your chin to your chest. Maybe put your forehead on your knee for five. Hold where you are. Four, three, hold still. Two, one. When you're ready, slowly reverse out. Just the way you went in, maybe. Nice. Shift your weight to your right leg. Squeeze your right thigh tight. Lift your left leg up. Toes back. Ram down. Pick up your foot. So the general rule of thumb, if you fall out five times, hop back in six. Lock your right leg and lift your left leg up. Heel forward. Toes back. You're training your Achilles to stretch. If both legs lock, bend your elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles, slowly, gently tuck your chin to your chest. Maybe put your forehead on your knee. Heel forward, toes back, round your spine, squeeze your stomach, lock your standing leg. Change, slowly reverse out, just the way you went in. Wonderful, high five. Standing bow pulling pose. This next one's a back bend and a heart opener. Listen extra careful if you're new, the grip is a little confusing. Bring your right hand up, palm faces the ceiling. Bring your hand out to the right, give yourself a high five for coming to class. Who says you need a friend to high five? You can always high five yourself, right? Reach back, I'll show you from the side, without turning or twisting your shoulder, elbow or wrist, pick up the inside of your right ankle at the ankle bone. Thumb with your index finger. If this grip is confusing, just grab the outside of your foot, no problem. Bring your left arm up, arm with your ear, knees together. Lift your chin, lift your chest, inhale, stretch up. And as you're ready, exhale, slowly charge your body forward with control as you kick your right leg back and up. Kicking and stretching equal, simultaneous, 50-50. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. If you lose your balance, kick even harder. That's the trick, the tension between the hand and the foot. When you're ready, come down, bring the body down more, leg up more, slide your left shoulder forward, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, slowly kick up, feet together, arms down. Other side, bring your left hand up, bring it out to the left, reach back, and pick up the inside of your left ankle. Knees together, hips square. Right arm up, arm with your ear, lift your chin, lift your chest, inhale, stretch up. And as you're ready, exhale, back bend. So as you kick your left leg back and up, charge your body forward. Tricep muscle nice and tight. All five fingers together. Thumb with your index finger. Palm of the right hand faces the floor. Get your right arm parallel to the floor and start to come down. Body down more, leg up more, kick as hard as you can. Push your foot into your hand. Body down, heel up, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, slowly kick up. Feet together, arms down. Second set, bring your right hand up. Bring it out to the right. Reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your right ankle at the ankle bone. Left arm up, arm of your ear. Lift your chin, lift your chest, stretch up tall, and slowly kick, stretch, and breathe. Uh, if you are having trouble balancing today, I am right there with you. Sometimes during seasonal transitions, or when it's really humid or cloudy, there's air pressure changes, and that can kind of affect your balance. Hold on tight, keep breathing. We say that falling out of a posture makes you human. Hopping back in makes you a yogi. Body down, heel up, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, kick yourself up. Last one, here we go. Bring your left hand up, you can do it. Bring your hand out to the left, reach back, pick up the inside of your left ankle, half the ankle, right arm up, arm with your ear, stretch up as tall as you can and slowly kick, stretch, and breathe. So check it out, really try to slide your right shoulder forward and that will serve you in the next posture, balancing stick. So stretch your right shoulder forward, shoulder blade scapula coming away from the body, Body down, heel up, kick, kick, stretch, kick. Good, change, kick yourself up. Right away, come to the back of your mat and top, tool to nasana. Feet together, inhale your arms over your head. Oh my God, interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, lean back. Step your right foot forward, walk both legs, lift your left foot off the floor, and slowly tilt. So charge your body forward, just like the last posture, shoulder blade, scapula coming away from the body. Body down, heel up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good, change left foot down, right foot back, arms back, chin up. Step your left foot forward, lock both legs, lift your right foot and slowly tilt. One day, arms body, 
head legs, everything parallel to the floor. So from the side, body makes a T like Tom, but not a broken umbrella. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good change, right foot down, left foot back, arms down. Here we go, second set, We feet together. Inhale your arms over your head, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, lean back, stretch up. Step your right foot forward, lock both legs, point your left toes tilt. So Vikram says you're trying to give yourself a mini heart attack here so you don't have a bigger one later on in life. Touch your biceps to your ears, squeeze your palms together, stretch forward, stretch back. Good, change, left foot down, right foot back, arms back, lean back. Step your left foot forward, lock both legs, point your right toes and tilt. So try to get your armpit skin facing the floor. So squeeze palms together, chin away from your chest, push your biceps into your ears, and lift your right heel up one more inch. Good, change, right foot down, left foot back, arms down. And enough of that, come to the top of your mat and towel for standing separate leg stretching. The standing separate leg series, we're gonna flow the next three postures twice. Fun, stretching pose, inhale your arms over your head. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, big step, arms down parallel to the floor. Turn your toes in, lock your legs, lift your chest, and swan dive forward. Great, eventually, grab your heels and touch your forehead to the floor. If you have um, like a background in ballet and a long torso, that might be really easy. Otherwise, grab the outsides of your feet, put your hands on the floor, and hey, take a bigger step, especially if you have long legs or a tight body, a bigger step will serve you well. Once you have a bigger step, now see if you can grab the outsides of your feet or your heel. Everybody roll forward, push your big toes down, lift your hips up, lock your legs. Good, change. We're gonna float a triangle pose. So arms out to the side, push your hips forward, come up. Take a bigger step. Turn your right foot out, left toes in a little bit. Bend your right leg, sit down as low as you can. Taking a bigger step will help you sit down more. Lean back and move your arms. Right elbow in front of the knee. Aim your right fingers towards your big and second toe. Don't touch the floor. Don't push any weight on the floor. Look up to the ceiling. Touch your chin to your shoulder. Breathe. Drop your left thigh down. Push your right knee back. Turn, twist upper body back. Lock your left leg. Left foot flat on the floor. Change. Rotate your arms. Straighten your right leg. Right toes in left toes out, bend your left leg. It's a deep lunge. This style of triangle is a little bit different from other styles of yoga. Sit as low as you can, lean back and move your arms. Left elbow in front of the knee, right arm up to the ceiling, look up and stretch up. You want one long diagonal line from your ankle all the way to the crown of your head. So see if you can simultaneously drop your right thigh and lift your chest up. Turn, twist upper body back, lock your right leg, Right foot flat on the floor. We're gonna float a head to knee pose. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your left leg, turn your left toes in. Inhale your arms over your head, palms together, cross your thumbs, standing separate leg head to knee pose. Take a slightly smaller step. Pivot on your heels to one side of the room. Turn your back foot in and push your hips forward until your two hips are in line. Stretch up. Tuck your chin to your chest and go down. So this is a rounded spine posture. It's a compression posture. You're trying to squeeze your abdominal wall by touching your forehead to your knee. To touch your knee and head together, you can bend your front leg and really tuck your chin to your chest, throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together. Change slowly and curl without twisting your spine. Come up vertebra by vertebra, head up last. Pick up your toes, pivot on your heels, pivot on your heels, uncross your heels. So they're in line, but not crisscross. Turn your back foot in, push your hips forward one, two, three, four, five times. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. So you want two hips in line, two heels in line, Backside foot should make a 45 degree angle. Again, bend your front leg as much as you need, touch your knee and head together. Stretch all 10 fingers just beyond your big and second toe and bring maximum weight into your left front leg. Left hip up, right hip forward, two hips in line. Push your forehead into your knee. Lock both legs, hands together first. Once your hands are together, now change. Slowly uncurl, right hip forward, right shoulder forward, full stop at the top. Good, pick up your toes, pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down. Take a moment, pat yourself on the back. Second set, here we go, stretching. Inhale your arms over your head. 
exhale, step your right foot to the right, big step, toes in, heels out, stretch up tall, and swan dive forward. Lead with your heart all the way down. If you don't have a heart, lead with your lower ribs. Keep coming back to yoga. You will cry at some point. If you can, grab your heels, bend your elbows back, elbows to calf, shoulders to ceiling, belly button uh, to the spine. So everybody roll forward, stomach in, push your big toes down, squeeze your thighs, lock your legs, breathe. First the legs stretching, then the hips stretching, lower spine stretching, whole spine stretching, whole body stretching. Three, 60 degree angle stretching, coccyx to toes, coccyx to forehead, touch your forehead to the floor, in between your feet. Change slowly, come up, second set triangle, turn your right foot out, left toes in, take a bigger step, wider step, bend your right leg, sit down, lean back, and move your arms. So in stretching pose, we're stretching the spine and stretching the torso. In triangle pose, we're twisting the spine and twisting the torso. So look up towards the ceiling so the whole spine, even the neck, is twisting. So right shoulder forward, left shoulder back, lock your left leg, keep your left foot flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out, bend your left leg, sit down, lean back, and move your arms. And we're also really opening our hips and chest here. So the more you can sit down, the more you can stretch up, the more the whole body starts to work in harmony. Reach your right arm up, stretch your left arm down, sit down more, lock your right leg, keep your right foot flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, straighten your left leg. Left toes in, arms up for head to knee pose. Little bit of a smaller step. Pivot on your heels, push your hips forward one, two, three, four, five times. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. So in stretching pose, we stretch the spine and stretch the stomach. In triangle pose, we twisted the spine and twisted the stomach. In head to knee pose, we round the spine and squeeze the stomach. So this is the posture where the front and the back of the body are doing two separate movements. Spine is rounding, stomach is squeezing. Stretch all 10 fingers beyond your big and second toe. Right hip up, left hip down, two hips in line. Push forehead into knee, lock both legs, hands together. Change, imagine you're dragging your forehead up your thigh or chest, arms with your ears, head up, last. Good, pick up your toes, balance challenge, pivot 180 degrees, uncross your feet, turn your back foot in, push your hips forward, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. Can you look at your belly button all the way down? You cannot see your left foot all the way down. So when we round the spine, we call it a compression posture. Any of the head to knee drawn in Shirasa postures are really about compression, the front of the body, strengthening the abdominal wall, and many believe squeezing, massaging the internal organs is healthy for the organs as well, like a nice little massage. So your whole body, even the inside stuff, gets worked out. Left hip up, right hip forward, push forehead into knee, lock both legs, hands together, change. Try to use strength rather than inertia, coming up with control, this by this, head up last. Good, pivot on your toes, right foot back, arms down. Come to the middle of your mountain towel for the hip opening series, tree then toe, right away. Shift your weight to your left leg and lift your right leg up. Touch your heel to your costume, sole of foot flat to ceiling. Know that at first this posture, maybe the foot's just on the shin, the knee, the thigh, eventually heel to costume. Let your right knee drop down and back. Never force your knees. Right hand up to the center of your chest. If you can balance without your foot slipping, left hand up, palms together. You can stay here in tree pose the whole time, but do stay here the whole time. Otherwise, toe stand, suck your stomach in, fold forward. Put your hands on the floor. Walk your hands forward, and here's the trick. Lean forward. Lift your heel, bend your knee, sit down. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips. Lean back, spine straight. Maybe left hand up to the center of your chest. Right hand up, palms together. Elbows down, spine straight. See if you can come a half inch off your heel. Good. When you're ready, put your hands on the floor to reverse out, lift your hips up, straighten your leg first, and then come up. You can also come up on two feet if that feels better. Nice, and change right leg down. I'll show you the second set from the side. Shift your weight to your right leg, walk your right leg, and lift your left leg up. Heel to costume, slowly, gently, let your left knee drop down and back. So one day from the side, two knees in line. Left hand up, and if you can balance without your foot slipping, right hand up. But if you're like me and your foot slides, or you have to stick your butt out to keep your foot from sliding, just hold on to your foot instead. So you're trying to lengthen your spine. You can stay here or float a toe stand. 
pull your belly in and lean forward. At first, just dangling forward, one big hands to floor, one big hands back. Okay, everybody, like Cheryl Sandberg, lean in, lift your heel, keep leaning in, bend your knees, sit down. All of the weights in your arms, you sit. Walk your hands back, lift your chest up, left hand up, right hand up, elbows down, traction of the spine, maybe come a half inch off your heel. And when you're ready, put your hands on the floor, lift your hips up first, so straighten the leg, and then push your hips forward to come up. Nice, when you're ready, change left leg down, honor yourself, give yourself high five, fist bump, turn around, Svasana, changing the angle of this, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. That's a technical yoga term. Okay, next we do Savasana. Lying still, breathing normal. Bring your heels together. Let your toes fall open. Hey, Jess. Arms down by your sides. Palms face the ceiling. Eyes open. Mouth closed. Breathing normal. Let's take three breaths together. Take a slow inhale through your nose. A slow exhale through your nose. Slow inhale through your nose. Feel your chest rise. Slow exhale through your nose. Let your belly fall. Take a slow inhale through your nose. Feel your whole body lengthening. Slow exhale through the nose. Get a little heavier on the floor. You continue with Pavana Mukhasana, when you're moving pose. Try to keep your shoulders and hips heavy. Lift your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right shin just below the knee. Pull your knee out and down and hold. Hold still, don't move, don't even blink your eyes. Good, change, right leg down, left leg up, pull your knee out and down and hold. So the ability to hold still is just as valuable as the ability to move in space. Change. Left leg down, both legs up, grab your elbows each other, give yourself a big hug. Keep your head on the floor, look down the center line of your body, and you guessed it, hold still. Eventually, or in the future, when the bone joint skeletal system has improved, the whole spine, from coccyx to the neck, will be flat on the floor. Change. Arms down, eyes open. So in this style of yoga, we do want to find like a little bit of stillness and a little bit of breath in each and every posture. In the 60 minute version, that's like, that's pretty fast, right? It might just be like one second or one count of breath, but you're still trying to find a little bit of stillness, the ability to stop inertia without slowing momentum. Second set, right leg up, so you still have energy. Interlock your 10 fingers, pull your knee out and down and hold. Push the pads of your fingers into the backs of your hands to strengthen your grip. Change. Right leg down, fingers flush out, left leg up, pull your knee out and down. You're purposely putting pressure on your lower abdomen to massage the colon. It is called wind removing pose for a reason. Change. Left leg down and both legs up. Grab your elbows each other. This is also a really good opportunity to give yourself a hug, right? Squeeze tight, firming this choice that you made. It's for sure a choice. You came to yoga, you showed up, you're doing great. Squeeze tight. And change, release, arms down, eyes open. Next, we do a straight leg sit up. If you have any concerns about your back, any lower back pain, history of slip discs, please get the sit up, roll off to the side, and meet us on your stomach. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up, round your spine, elbows to floor, forehead to knee. Good, turn, lie on your stomach for the spine strengthening series, starting with Cobra, Ooh, and Gasana, good for your lower lumbar spine. Place your hands flat on the floor below your shoulders, feet together like a cobra's tail. Lock your legs, look up, and lift. Stretch your upper body off the floor. Use 100% lower spine strength. Looks so good. Come up halfway only, just your belly button on the floor. The rest of your chest is in the air. Elbows stay bent and make an L, a 90 degree angle like a rectangle. Don't forget about the cobra tail. Keep your feet together, toes, heels touch, lock your legs. Push your feet down, hips down, hands flat, look up. Chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up. Good, change, slowly lower down. Look to your right, left ear on the towel, arms down, palms face the ceiling, toes together, heels fall open. Take a slow inhale through your nose, and a slow exhale through your nose. Second set, 
chin forward, hands flat, fingers together. Lock your legs, point your toes, look up and lift. So come up halfway only. This is a great way to stretch the fascia on the chest and strengthen the muscles in the back. It's also good for strengthening the legs. So feet together, contract your thigh muscles, squeeze your butt, push your feet down, hips down, hands flat, lift your chest up. Good, change slowly with control, lower down. Look to your left, right ear on the towel, arms down. If it hurts to look left and right, you're welcome to bend one or both hands up towards your face and that will take pressure off of your neck or shoulder. Next is everybody's favorite posture, right? Lokit Shalabhasana, bring your chin forward, arm straight position, flip your palms down to face the floor, bring your arms underneath you, right, left, right, left, palms down, one day pinkies touch, spread your fingers wide, lock your right leg, point your right toes and lift your right leg up to a 45 degree angle, half of 90. See the foot come directly over the top of your head. Lift your heel up, heel up, heel up. Change slowly with control, right leg down. Relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. So this is a short posture. There's no excuse to dilly dally. Not that any of you would ever delay going into a posture. Lock your left leg, point your left toes, lift your heel up. Change, left leg down. I know all of the tricks. Bring your chin in, mouth down, bring your arms closer underneath you, squeeze your butt, point your toes, lock your legs, and lift both legs up. Come up, everybody come up, struggle a little harder. Don't give up, mouth down, shoulders down, feet together, lift your thighs up. Good, change, slowly lower down, bring your arms out, look to the right, left ear on the towel. Like that trick where it's like, oh, I have to go to the bathroom, darn, I really love this posture, but I just, I invented that trick. Don't do that trick. The postures that are hard, always do them. Second set, bring your chin forward, arms straight, flip your palms down, bring your arms underneath you, the I'll wait until she says change, and then be like, darn, I just didn't have enough time today. Lock your right leg, don't wait, point your right toes, lift your right leg up, see the foot come over the top of your head, everybody together, shoulders down, eyes open, mouth closed, lock your right leg. Change, right leg down, relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. See the foot coming over the top of your head. Can you lift your heel up one more inch? Hold here for three, two, one. Change, slowly lower down. Grand finale, tuck your chin in, lips down. Bring your arms a little closer, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, point your toes and lift both legs up. Come up, everybody come up, you can do it. Shoulders down, mouth down, grab the floor with your fingertips, lock your leg, press your shoulders down, lift your thighs up. Slowly with control, lower down, never collapsing out, arms out, look to the left. Take a slow inhale through your nose. Slow exhale through your nose. Picture lots of highly oxygenated blood flowing through your knuckles, wrists, elbows, and shoulders. Full locus, Pranashalabhasana, bring your chin forward, arms out to the side like airplane wings, feet together, toes, heels touch, lock your legs, point your toes, look up, and fly, arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts off the floor. So eventually your fingers will be in line with your shoulders perpendicular to the body. If you're having shoulder pain like this, know that you can have your arms forward or back in a V. Eventually they'll be out to the side, but if you're experiencing pain, right, we don't want pain. Keep your feet together, toes, heels touch, lift your thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change, slowly lower down, tuck in your wings, look to the right, so we're discerning the difference between like something that's challenging and something that's painful. Like challenging is fine, but if you're actively in pain during class or if you are injuring like a repetitive injury, you're stressing something out in your body, that's also something to ease off of. Second set, bring your chin forward, arms out to the side, feet together, toes, heels touch, lock your legs, point your toes, look up and lift. So try to keep your feet together. This posture is so good for strengthening the muscles on your back. We'll stretch your arms out to the side. Keep your feet together. Lift your thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up. Come up a little higher at the end. Good, change, slowly lower down. Tuck in your wings, look to the left, right here on the towel. So you know your body better than anybody. And I know this yoga pretty well. So between the two of us, we can usually figure something out. Something is not working for you. Um, you're always welcome to message me and I can help you find a modification or anything like that. Yeah, if you have any questions, always let me know. I literally am doing nothing else right now. So that would be great. Donner Asana, floor bow. Bring your chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside, 
around the outside, around the outside, all five fingers together, squeeze your butt, point your toes, look up and start to kick into your hands. Continuously keep kicking without stopping, without intermission. It's the kick that drives the posture. If you were rocking back and forth, roll forward once and hold still. Do little sips of air in and out to your nose. Bring your knees in, feet out, wrist straight, look up, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, slowly lower down, high inch, turn, look to the right, left ear on the towel, arms down, Heels out, take a slow inhale through your nose. Slow exhale through your nose. Second set, bring your chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside. Mom, Aunt Sharon is watching on Facebook. So cute. Point your toes, squeeze your butt, look up, and kick hard into your hands. Notice if your knees are way wider than your hips, squeeze your inner thighs together. Bring your knees in, feet out, wrists straight. Point your toes up to the ceiling. You want your neck to be a continuation of your spine. So you're not dropping your head back, but you're also not leaning it forward. Think of the neck as part of the arc of the vertebrae. Knees in, feet out, wrist straight, look up, kick, 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 kick. Good, change, slowly lower down. Look to the left, right here on the towel. Take a slow inhale through your nose. Slow exhale through your nose. Let's keep going. Chin forward, hands on the floor, tuck your toes under, push up. Great, come to the top of your mat and towel. Fixed firm, soup to Vajrasana. I'll show you the first set from the side. That's what she said, open your feet. Open your knees, you can have your hands in front of you, beside you, or behind you the whole time. Eventually sink your hips down to the floor, put your hands on your feet, right elbow down, stop anywhere you feel a point of pain, left elbow down, knees never come off the floor. Eventually relax your head back, head to floor, tuck your chin in, full expression, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows, each other, and hold. Wherever you are is perfect. You want a gentle stretch through your toes, ankles, knees, and hips, but never a point of pain. Change, put your hands on your feet, push up carefully, up up last, turn around, Svasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Take a slow inhale through your nose, slow exhale through your nose. You can skip the sit up and roll off to the side. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, flex your feet, squeeze your seat, sit up, Good, turn from the top of your mat and towel for second set. Open your feet, open your knees. You remember you can stay here in tabletop, it's fun. You pretend like you're on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Magazine. Eventually walk your hands back. Eventually sit your hips between your heels. Put your palms on your soles, right elbow down, left elbow down, drop your head back, head on the floor. Tuck your chin and neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head. For my friends, where this posture has become easy, Try to get a deeper back bend by lifting your chest up. And if that's easy, slide your knees back together, but knees never, ever, ever come off the floor. We're gonna do something a little bit different today, so follow me for the next 10 seconds. Like if you don't really don't listen to me, just listen to me for 10 seconds, ready? Put your hands on your feet, not that you would ever do that. Push yourself up, come up, and come to the back of your mat and towel for half tortoise, Ardha Kramasana. Whoa, knees, feet together, hips on your heels. Inhale your arms over your head, palms together, cross your thumbs. I'll show you from the side. Stretch up, chin away from your chest, slowly go down. This is crazy. Forehead to floor, little fingers to floor. Reach your arms forward, sink your hips down. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good, change. Slowly come up, arms with your ears. Nice, arms down, turn around, savasana. Head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Let your body stretch out. Picture lots of fresh blood rushing to your toes, ankles, knees, and hips. Take a slow inhale to your nose. Slow exhale to your nose. Second set. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, turn, come to the back of your mat and call second set. Half tortoise, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, arms over your head, palms together, stretch up, and slowly go down. Slower you do, better you do. See if you can touch your forehead to the floor first, and then your little fingers. Reach your arms forward, active arms, get your elbows and wrists off the floor, sink your hips down, stomach in, re-energize, reorganize, revitalize. Good, change, slowly come up, arms down, and humor me here, come to the top of your mat and towel for camel ustrasana. What? Stand on your knees six inches between your knees and your feet. 
Put your hands on your lower back, thumbs outside, fingers down to the floor. Push your hips forward, keep your eyes open. Look up, lift your chin, and if you're able, relax your head all the way back. You can stay here when you're ready. Keep your hands on your back and go back halfway. Breathe in the middle. If this feels okay, right hand down, grab your right heel. Left hand down, grab your left heel. Thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. As you inhale, lift your chest up. As you exhale, push your hips forward. Hips over knees, chest up to the ceiling, chin away from your throat, look for your toes behind you. Good, when you're ready, put your hands on your back. Push yourself up, head up last. Turn around, Savasana. So one of the things that people, myself included, love about this style of yoga is that it's the same every time. So when we do things not the same every time, that can be like confusing and to some people borderline offensive or like sacrilegious, right? But just think of it as like you're forming a new neural pathway in your body for today. What a delight. Um, either way, if the posture we just did made you feel like a little bit woo-woo or a lot bleh, that's really normal. You're just releasing some tension from the front of the body, which can feel bleh in the process. That's a technical term, bleh, but it feels really good when you leave the room. So always do second set. Here we go. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Enjoy the stretch. Good, turn, come to the top of your mat and towel, second set, camel. If you have tight knees, you can roll up your mat or your towel a little bit so there's extra padding under your knees. Put your hands on your lower back. Remember, you can stay here. If this feels okay, look up. You can stay here. There's no rush, know where you have to be. If this feels okay, drop your head back. If that's all right, go back halfway. Eventually, right hand down, left hand down. Um, the goal of this posture is to open the front of your body and bend your spine. It does not matter if you grab your heels. If you get a better backward bend with your hands on your back, keep your hands on your back. One day grab the heels, but that's just a byproduct of your body changing. It's not the goal in and of itself. The goal is always you feeling good when you leave the room. Change, put your hands on your back, push yourself up, and what? Rabbit, knees, feet together, come to the middle of your mat and towel. I'll show you from the side, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, make L's with your hands, we can do hard things. Flip your palms down, reach, grab your heels from the outside, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, go down, chin tuck to chest, forehead to knees, top of head to floor, pull on your heels, don't lose the grip, lift your hips up. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one, but head stays in place. If your feet are coming off the floor or your grip is sliding, ease up a little bit. There's very little weight in your neck and head. Good, change hips down first. Slowly uncurl, vertebra by vertebra, disc by disc, cut up last. Turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Picture your whole body lengthening, softening to the floor. Take a slow inhale to your nose. Slow exhale through your nose. Remember, you can skip the sit up by rolling off to the side. Otherwise, enjoy. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up, round your spine, elbows to floor, forehead to knees. Great, turn, come to the middle of your mat and towel, second set, rabbit, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, make L's with your hands, flip your palms down, grab your heels from the outside, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. See if you can feel each space between the vertebrae rounding, and the parts of your back that you can't feel are probably where you're tightest. For most, that will be the middle back. Pull on your heels, don't lose the grip, and lift your hips up. So think rather than just bending at your neck or your lower back, try to like bring the middle spine up closer to the ceiling as you spread shoulder blade scapula apart. This is the only rounded spine posture that is not about compression. All the other times that we round the spine, it's to squeeze into the abdominal wall, but this is sheerly about creating space between the vertebrae, rounding your back like a rabbit. Change hips down, hips back down to the heels, and then slowly uncurl, head up last, and I think you know what comes next, head to knee pose, John Uttarasana, right leg out to the top right corner of your mat. Now, interestingly, this is a compression posture. We're gonna squeeze our abdominal wall. Right leg out, left leg in, arms over your head, turn to your right, tuck your chin to your chest, and put your forehead on your knee. So eventually, you'll touch your forehead to your knee with a locked leg and elbows to floor. 
Doesn't have to be today, doesn't have to be tomorrow. You can bend your right leg a whole bunch, touch your knee and head together. We're just gonna do one set of this posture, so make it a good one. Interlock your 10 fingers up to the webbing underneath the ball of your foot, flex your right toes back to your face, and bend your elbows down to open shoulder blade scapula. Change, arms up, left leg out, right leg in, stretch up, turn to your left, tuck your chin to your chest, round down, round your spine, touch your knee and head together. Flex your toes back, suck your stomach in. If it's easy to touch your forehead and knee together with a bent leg, keep going, kick your heel forward. If your leg is straight, lock your leg, bend your elbows down, right elbow down, right shoulder down, roll into the right. Change, arms up, both legs out in front of you. If you're skipping the sit up, stay here and stretch up. Otherwise, carefully lie down on your back, let your spine realign and sit up. Elbows to floor, forehead to knees, stretching pose. I'll show you from the side. Bend your knees, hook onto your big, toe, big toes with your peace sign fingers, thumbs on top, and start to walk your hips back. Now this is different. It is not a compression posture. Rather than rounding your spine to squeeze your stomach, you want to stretch your spine to stretch your stomach. Chin and chest stay lifted. Eventually you will get your legs straight. If your legs are straight, stick your butt out a lot and then lock your legs. If your heels come off the floor, bend your elbows, go down with a flat back or as flat as you can, stomach to thighs, chest to knees, one day toes, and uh, head touch. Good, change, come up, and let's turn around for Savasana. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't sure. I was like, should we flow straight to spine twist? Should we do a Savasana? You know, I acknowledge I don't fully know what I'm doing, but then I acknowledge that none of us fully know what we're doing. So this yoga, even when you're teaching, is an opportunity to like lead without pretending like any of us have any sort of control over life. Okay, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, try and come to the middle of your mat tall. So if nobody's told you in your life before like we're not in control, then that's okay. Spine twist, bend your left leg on the floor, touch your right heel to your left knee corner. You can have your left leg straight out in front of you or you can keep the knee bent. Right arm behind you, left arm up. Stretch up, reach over, grab your left knee with your left hand, hand, heel, and knee touch. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over your right shoulder twist. You can keep your hand behind you. You can also grab your hip, your waistband, one day your inner thigh. Try to keep your right foot on the floor, point your left toes. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over your right shoulder twist. Twist, twist. Good, change, unwind. I'll show you this one from the side. Bend your right leg on the floor. Touch your left heel to your right knee corner. Remember, you can also have your right leg straight out in front of you. Left arm behind you, right arm up. Stretch up and over. Grab your right knee with your right hand. One day hand, heel, and knee all touch in one spot. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over your left shoulder. Twist. You can keep your hand behind you or do the half bind. Keep spine straight. Chest up, rib cage open. Inhale, stretch up, belly in. Exhale, look over your left shoulder, twist, twist, twist. Good, change, unwind, turn around, savasana. So sometimes we seek out things in our life that make us feel like we're in control. Um, yoga, I think, is an opportunity, rather than trying to control everything, it's an opportunity to like just relax and know that we can't always control everything, right? That's like the real yoga practice rather than ah, I have to do everything perfectly it's just you know what it's okay that things are going to be a little bit different today than they were yesterday maybe I fell out a couple more times maybe this changed or whatever and that's okay right it's all good we're just letting go unclenching releasing finish strong legs together arms over your head tuck your chin to your chest sit up Try and come to the middle of your mat and towel. Everybody's like, what is this person talking about? Come to the middle of your mat and towel for Kapalbhati, breathing, skull shining, breathing. Sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, hands on your thighs, sit up tall, lick your lips, swallow a couple times, concentrate, meditate, don't forget to have fun. All you have to do is exhale. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. So all you have to do is you exhale, snap your belly in. When the stomach relaxes, the lungs automatically take in air. Pretty cool. Sit up nice and tall, shoulders down, chest up. Here we go.
high four, three, two, one. Good for you. Honor yourself, give yourself a hug, high five, pat on the back, turn around, relax, final savasana. This savasana is a little bit more freestyle. You can open your arms and legs, you can roll out your hips and shoulders, you can close your eyes. Take a slow inhale through your nose. And a slow exhale through your nose. Slow inhale through your nose. Slow exhale through your nose. The only thing we can control is the present moment. Slow inhale through your nose. And a slow exhale through your nose, sinking into this moment, this breath. Notice if your mind has started to wander to what comes after final savasana. See if you can keep your mind with your body for as long as you're here. And then when you get up, see if you can keep your mind with your body as you go to drink water or take a shower. This is fostering the mind-body connection after yoga. So rather than having thoughts about something that's already happened or something you can't control in the future, try, try to make a practice every once in a while of really just having your body and your mind connected through your breath. Slow inhale through the nose. And slow exhale through the nose. Picture yourself in perfect, radiant health. 